Hi everyone, Elizabeth Bishop here, Autodesk Fusion Instructor, and in this video we're going to be looking at converting mesh bodies to surface or solid bodies in our parametric workspace. This is a great follow-on video from our Conquer STL files in Autodesk Fusion, if you want to check that out first. So after converting your mesh and repairing it in the mesh workspace, we may want to convert this back to a surface or solid body in our parametric space. When we have our bodies as a mesh, you'll see this symbol next to the body here, and you can see these lines on the surface. Now you may already have your mesh from a model you've done in Autodesk Fusion, or you may have inserted a mesh from an STL file, for example, and you want to be able to make edits. We're going to convert our mesh in our mesh workspace. So go to mesh at the top and click modify and convert mesh. And you'll see that the options that pop up here. We're going to select the body that we want to convert. Now don't worry if you get this warning. This is a warning saying that the mesh has more than 10,000 triangles. It's still possible to convert large meshes, it will just take longer to convert them. If you do get any further errors when converting your mesh to a solid body, it might be worth using the mesh tools in Autodesk Fusion to edit the number of facets or faces on your mesh before doing the conversion. This usually resolves any other issues that you have with mesh conversion. Reviewing the settings available to us here, we can see that our options here are parametric or base feature. Working first with our parametric option, we're going to use a faceted option. And this will create individual faces for each of the mesh faces on here. So go ahead and click OK. Once our mesh has been converted, you will see that the mesh in our bodies no longer exists and it's replaced with a solid body. You'll also see the feature in the timeline for this for Convert Mesh. If we make any modification to our body, upstream relationships will be reflected as this is a parametric model. You can also use this to make direct edits in the solid modeling workspace. For example, adding a secondary hole to the top surface here. The other option for our operation is to create a base feature. I'm going to select the body and click OK. You'll see here that this creates a new feature in our timeline. This is like creating a copy of the mesh body. We have both of these listed in our body options. Again, this is a parametric design that you can edit as you wish to. If we wanted to, we can edit this mesh by right-clicking on the feature in our timeline and clicking Edit Feature. This time, I'm going to select a prismatic option. The previously used faceted option is available to all license types in Autodesk Fusion, whereas the prismatic one is available to commercial license subscribers. The prismatic option enables Fusion to identify face groups to infer features and convert these into solid features. And you'll see now that we no longer have all of those faceted options and lines on our model and it looks a lot cleaner. Sometimes when you convert your mesh, you end up with a surface body instead of a solid body. This would be represented by the surface body symbol in your browser. This could be to do with errors in your mesh workspace. Errors of this type are uncommon, but may happen in more complicated meshes. The reason it happens is when one of the mesh triangles errors in the conversion and your body is no longer enclosed when it converts, hence why we end up with that surface body instead of the solid body. In order to fix this, there's a number of different ways you can do it. If you can identify the open surface, for example here, we can create a patch. This patches the surface and you can see we still have a surface body. We can then stitch these together by selecting both bodies and this then creates a solid body in our browser tree. The third option we have for converting a mesh is organic. This option is only available if you have access to the design extension in Fusion. It essentially does three conversions in one, from the tri-mesh to quad mesh, then through to T-spline, and then depending on if you use the base feature or parametric option, all the way through to that BREP, boundary representational model. So I'll tell you, show you what the two options do here. If we're in the parametric option and then change from our faceted through to organic, we can select our resolution, accuracy, and also select if we want to pre-process holes or not. I'm going to select this organic shape that I've got here. And again, the warning just means this will take longer to convert. 
you'll see here that we end up with this organic mesh, much less regimented than that tri-spline mesh that we were getting with the previous features. The difference with the base feature here is that this won't go all the way through to the B-wrap stage. Instead, this takes you through to the T-spline stage and you can edit this mesh if required before converting through to your B-wrap model. So now you know how to convert a mesh body to a solid or surface in parametric designs. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments below or on the Autodesk community. So thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video.